Delaware LLCs, what are they and how do you start one? In this video, we are going to go over everything you need to know about how to start an LLC in Delaware. Delaware is one of the most popular states that people form LLCs in and for good reason. We'll explore the advantages, some state specific rules, and I'll also show you guys exactly how you can set up an LLC in Delaware in five minutes while spending the least amount of money possible. So here's a broad overview of how you can form an LLC in Delaware. Step one is you name your LLC. Step two is you appoint a registered agent. Step three, you file your certificate of formation. Step four, you create an operating agreement. And then step five, you obtain an EIN from the IRS. We'll go through each of these steps in detail, but if you guys wanna save a ton of time, you can actually skip to the portion of this video where I take you guys step-by-step -step through setting up your own Delaware LLC. All right, so the first step is you know, finding a name for your LLC. And Delaware does have some state-specific naming guidelines. You do need to have limited liability company, LLC, or L.L.C. in the name of your company. You also can't include keywords like FBI, Treasury, State Department, and things like that because that could confuse it with any government agencies. You also want to make sure that the name is available in Delaware so you guys can actually search this up on the Secretary of State website. And something else to consider is is whether or not your name of your business is available as a URL or domain. So if it isn't, then maybe you want to choose a different name. Second is you need to hire a registered agent. So this is a person or a business that is responsible for sending and receiving important legal documents on your behalf, such as tax forms, lawsuits, government correspondence forms, etc. So you can sort of think of this as like a mailing address or point of contact for your business. This information is going to be shown to the public. So if you do want to you know, be as private as possible, you will want to use an outside registered agent. Otherwise, you can just use your own name if you don't care about that. They must be a full-time resident in Delaware or a service authorized to conduct business in Delaware. And it can be yourself, it can be an employee, or it can be a registered agent service. Three is you're going to file your LLC certificate of formation. So these are the legal documents that basically create your LLC. You're going to file these with the Delaware Department of State, and this can be done online, by mail, or even in person. For most of you guys, I'd recommend doing this online. A cover sheet is required for mailed filing, so it is a little bit more complex, and I don't recommend doing it that way. There's a $90 filing fee in Delaware, and this is non-refundable. And you're also going to have to decide if your LLC is going to be member managed or manager managed. And for 99% of you guys watching this, it's going to be member managed, aka managed by a member, which is yourself. Next is you're gonna create an LLC operating agreement. Now, this is not required to be publicly filed in Delaware, but I still recommend having one. And basically, this is just an internal legal document that outlines the ownership and operating procedures of your LLC. It's gonna ensure that both the owners and employees know what to expect from the company and vice versa. They'll have information about the organization, so who the members are. They'll have the management and voting structure, the capital contribution information, information, distribution information, any membership change rules, as well as the rules for dissolution. You'll then also have to obtain a Delaware LLC EIN. So this is basically going to be like the security number for your business, and it can also be known as the federal tax identification number. This basically allows the IRS to identify and keep track of your business. You'll need one because it's required by the state to open up a business bank account, to hire employees, to file taxes, and also to get paid into your business. Now, the IRS does provide the EIN number for free, but you will have to actually submit a form to get it. And that can be done online or by mail, but I do recommend doing this online. If you guys are converting from a sole proprietorship to an LLC, you are going to have to get a new EIN. There may also be some additional licenses you need in Delaware to operate your business. And you guys will have to figure out these on your own, or you guys can use something like Inkfile to you know, identify these business licenses for you and file for you. There's also the Delaware LLC Certificate of Status. And this is also known as the Certificate of Good Standing. This signifies that the LLC was formed legally and has been properly maintained. And it's gonna be required if you, know, you are trying to you know, ask lenders for money. It'll also be required if forming a business as a foreign LLC in another state or when you're trying to obtain business licenses or permits. So in Delaware, it's $50 for the short form certificate and $175 for the long form certificate. After you guys set up your Delaware LLC, you're going to want to open up a business bank account. You may want to get a business credit card. And of course, to keep all your taxes on point, you will want to have an accountant. You also may need or want business insurance. So this includes general liability insurance, 
professional liability insurance, and workers' comp insurance. So now I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set up a Delaware LLC online. This is the fastest, cheapest, and best way to create your LLC today. All right, so what you guys can do is scroll down to the description below and find the link for Inkfile. Click on that and that's gonna take you to this exact page, which is where you need to be. From here, I'm gonna click start my business right here. And it's going to have me select the business entity type. So since we are doing a Delaware LLC, we'll click on this. We'll choose the state of formation. So I'll go and find Delaware. And then it's gonna take me to the three package options. Now you can see that the silver package is going to be $119. And this is a $0 package fee. So you are literally paying $0 to Inkfile. But there is that mandatory state fee of $119, which you guys will have to pay anyway. And then this one, they're going to prep and file your articles of organization. They're going to help you do your name searches, and they're going to give you free registered agent service for one year. Now, this is a package that I actually don't recommend because it doesn't include all the things you're going to have to do and file yourself. Instead, I recommend that like for 95, 99% of you guys watching this video, go with the gold plan. This is the plan that I use to set up all my business entities, and it definitely has saved me hours and hours per formation. And for almost all you guys, it's just going to make the process way easier and it's Going to ensure that uh, you know you don't make any mistakes. So with this one, the package fee to Inkfile is $149. That's what they're charging you. Super, super worth it. And of course, you're paying the mandatory state fee. This is going to include everything in the silver package, but they're going to you know file for your EIN business tax number. They're going to file the IRS form 2553 if you do want to do that. They're going to create an operating agreement for you, a banking resolution, as well as a bunch of other things. If you guys really want to ball out, you guys can get the platinum plan. This is their most expensive one, but this is going to include everything found in the other plans, plus business contract templates, expedited filing, and domain name and business email. So for now, I'm going to click gold package since that is what I recommend for most of you guys. Here it's going to ask you for your contact contact person information. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in right now. Then it's going to have me enter in my mailing address. So I'll go ahead and enter that in right now. After that, I'm going to click next. Here it's going to have me select the state filing time. So you guys can choose the nine week standard filing time for $0. Or if you want to do it really, really fast, if you're on a time crunch, you guys can also pay an extra $100 and get that done in as of right now, six business days. For this video, I'm just going to click the nine week standard filing time and click next. Now it's going to have you enter in your company information. So first your LLC name, it's going to have you select a designator. So you'll click this and you can select one one of these three, uh, I'm going to click LLC. This is what your company name is going to officially look like. Then it's going to have you select the number of members slash owners. Since it is just me, I'll select one. Next is going to have you uh, enter in your business purpose. And after that, it's going to have you select the industry that your business is in. After that, you'll scroll down here. It's going to have you enter in your company address information. So you guys can use their business address or you can use your own address. I'll select my own address and then select my uh, address I previously entered. Here's going to have you select one of these two things for your member information. Most people are going to select this one. So I'll click on that and then I'll click next right here. Next, it's going to ask you if you want to upgrade to the premium service package. This definitely does come with some great benefits, but for this video, I'm just going to click no thanks. Then it's going to have you enter in member information. So I'm going to click me and enter in the previously entered address. It's going to have me select the percent of ownership. So since I'm the only one in this LLC, it's going to be a hundred percent and I'll click next. Then it's going to ask me for my registered agent information. So the great thing about Inkfile is that they actually include a registered agent service for free for one whole year. So I'm going to leave that as is, but if you do want to act as your own registered agent, you guys can click this right here. I'll click next right here. Then it's going to have you enter in your tax identification number. So I'll click my name right here and I'll enter in the SSN. After that, I'm going to come down here and select uh, the physical street address and click next. After that, it's going to ask if you want to set up a small business banking account and you guys can do this if you want. But for this video, I'm just going to click no, not at this time. However, I will say that you will want a business bank account at some point. So, you know, you might want to check that one. Next, it's going to ask you if you want a free tax strategy consultation. So you guys can click on this if you want. Just for this video, I'm going to click not interested at this time. It's going to ask about any business licenses that you may need. Just for this video, I'll click no thanks. But if you do want them to do it, you guys can actually click this one. Next is going to have me review all the information I inputted for my LLC. So I'll scroll down here, make sure everything is correct. And if it is, I'll click next right here. After that, it's going to have me enter in my billing information. So cardholder, first and last name, address, as well as the card number and information. After I do that, I'm going to click I agree and then I'll click complete and pay. So again, the link to this page is going to be down below in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys found this walkthrough helpful.
Now, before we end the video, I also want to talk about some Delaware tax filing requirements. So luckily, Delaware is one of five states that does not impose sales tax on goods or services. However, there are some businesses that will be subject to gross receipts tax, and this tax rate is going to depend on the type of business. For most multi-member LLCs, you're also going to need to file an informational tax return on the form 300i, and you also may need to deal with employee withholding tax as well as unemployment insurance tax. But yeah, I recommend doing a little bit more research for these tax filing requirements, or you can also ask your accountant about it. Now, the Delaware franchise tax is also filed with the Department of State, and you guys can do this online by mail or in person. There is no filing fee, but I will say that the tax filing and payment is due by June 1st. In Delaware, there is a $300 annual tax for all LLCs, and there's a $200 penalty plus plus a 1.5% interest penalty for every month that you are late past the June 1st deadline. So yeah, if you guys are thinking about starting a Delaware LLC, I hope this video was extremely helpful. Again, Delaware is a very popular state for people to create their LLCs in because it's super easy, it's relatively affordable, and it's definitely a business-friendly state. Again, the link to Inkfile is gonna be down below. You guys can click on that link and follow along with this video to set up your own LLC today in like five minutes. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. On this channel, we do a ton of free guides and tutorials on all topics relating to starting your own business. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.